right. Roberto. Okay, you know when you're ready. Go ahead. Okay, this is uh, the motorcycle. This is two separate kits. The motorcycle is Eshi's one ninth scale uh, Triumph T3 HP, uh, World War II motorcycle. Uh, the kit originally came out in 1978 uh, in England, and Eshi exported their kits to England first before they put them on any other market. And they sold very well. They did a whole series of one ninth scale motorcycles. And when I was stationed in England, that's when I bought that kit back in 78. And I built this kit about 12, maybe 13 years ago. Yeah. Uh, I had it sitting on a shelf. And then about last month, I found the figure online. There's a guy in Pennsylvania who sculpted, sculpted the figure and then made production of the kit in China in resin. The figure is a solid resin, what they call a gray resin. It's yeah. very heavy. The, the yeah. figure alone weighs about a pound. And it came only in nine parts. Uh, he shows it online on eBay, mm -hmm. basically assembled but not painted. Um, and he doesn't tell you anything about it. So I figured since they didn't make a British figure for the, for the motorcycle, I'd buy it. It was very cheap. It was only about $29 for the figure. Oh, really? Yeah, it was very cheap. Um, it arrived very quickly. But unfortunately, the model, the figure, every, it's nine pieces to it, and all of the joints were terrible. None of them fit at all. So I had to recut and shape the joint between the knee and the leg, uh, the base uh, and the upper part of the torso, the arm sockets into the shoulders. Even the head wouldn't even fit in the neck socket. Um, the hands are separate from the arms, and they didn't fit at all to get that uh, bent finger look on his, on his arm, his arm there. Uh, the kit arrives basically in a plastic bag and parts, no instructions, nothing. <laughs> You have to work completely from scratch. Another thing that they, I guess because the molds were so cheap, uh, there were seam lines and mm. flash all over this thing. I sat in front of the TV set watching a, uh, uh, a John Wayne Western, and it took me the entire movie to scratch off and clean off all of the flash and seam lines on it. Uh, once I corrected all the flaws that it had, it went together very well. Uh, both the motorcycle and the figure are painted with humbral enamels all done by hand. Um, the base is also uh, made using cellu-clay. The wooden base itself is something that I turned on my wood lathe. Um, um, and then I find out that it's actually cheaper to go to a place like uh, Michael's and buy it. Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Yeah. That piece of wood and then doing it on the lathe comes out to be more expensive. But the nice thing about it is I can shape it to any shape I want. Um, overall, the motorcycle kit was very, very complicated. It was. Uh, Never intended for, a, for a, other than somebody with a lot of experience in building models. They're very, very fragile. Um, I, do, I do not, if you ever get one of these kits, I do not recommend using super glue to put it together because the joints, there's just not enough joint surface for the parts. They'll come apart in, in your hands. You've got to basically do two or three steps on the instruction sheet and then let them dry overnight before you come back to it. So you've got to have a lot of patience sure. with all of these. Eshi then sold the, the molds uh, in the mid-70s to Atallery. Atallery kept them for about 20 years, and then they sold them to Ravel of Germany. Ravel of Germany contracted an outfit in China to do one-ninth scale figures for their German bikes only. Unfortunately, they're made out of vinyl. Oh, and yeah. unless nothing sticks to it, you've got to really be careful. You've got to prep it really good. Well, I haven't vinyl. found anything that yeah. preps as well as uh, I, had the, I wound up using a... Um, Oh, what's the um, the company that does rattle can paints for painting for, uh, furniture, garden furniture? Oh, oh Krylon. Krylon. That's the only, I use their primer before I painted them. A I lot of guys it. I know oh, yeah, are yeah. using yeah. the automotive primer that has an etcher in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's primer. what they use. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. Well, on this vinyl, like I said, it's very, it's very porous. And it works. The primer works as long as you don't flex the figure at all. Right. If you're putting one piece on and gluing it in place and you happen to flex the vinyl, the paint and primer will come right off. Yeah. It's really crappy. But they're the only ones in town. Nobody, one ninth scale is a very strange scale. Everything's either one eighth or one twelfth. One ninth is in between. I don't know why and, motorcycles went to one ninth. Well, That's I don't know why Eshi did it as well. I guess being an Italian company, they just wanted to do something on their own. <laughs> it's probably a metric. Uh, very, convert. It's very, very <laughs> similar to uh, the company, the French company, Heller. Yeah, they did Heller, one 400 yeah. scale when yeah. everybody else was doing 350. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a 150 yeah. scale aircraft. Oh, yeah, 150 scale, scale aircraft, yeah. Right. Uh, anyway, um, the figure, like I said, um, 
went together well. It, this one is, since it's resin, it went together really well using uh, Bob's Industries super glue. And I said, you know, the paints are all humbrel paints. And once I got it together and everything, everything worked pretty well. It actually sat on the motorcycle correctly. And it all went together. The motorcycle, like I said, is completely out of the box with the exception of the tarp here at the back that I scratch built. Well, you um, didn't add the wires? The wires no, came they with came, it? The no, wires, the, they give you, they, yeah, they give you vinyl tubing for all the wires. See, and and the, 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 you can tell I have an open mind. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, it, but on it's the so German old now, it's probably all, you know, the war, a lot of yeah. the issue kit came out warped. Yeah. 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 Uh, the the German bike that I built oh, several that's, years that's ago. That's what I have. I have the oh. German, the BMW. BMW with the sidecar. Yeah. The 75. And yeah. yeah. Then they did the Zand up. The the Zand, I've got, yeah, I've got them all. <gasps> I built the 75, and unfortunately, when I opened the box, I, since, again, I bought it back in 78, 79, the vinyl literally crumbled in my yeah. hand. So yeah. all the cables on that bike are all done with stretched sprue. Yeah. Um, so that's basically it. Anybody have any questions? No. So the, glo the gloves? Did the gloves come with it? The gloves came with the motorcycle figure, yes. Okay. Uh, not the motorcycle, the the, the figure, figure figure. Yeah. figure. Yeah. The yeah. Sten gun? The Sten gun came with the with the motorcycle, the motorcycle. And the helmet came with the motorcycle. Yeah. Because yeah, because they actually did the German soldier in one line two. Yeah. You just, just stand in there and didn't know all that. Right. And, and, I got and the, if when you open that box, have you seen it? Yes. I it's vinyl. One. No. Well Mine's the one plastic. that I got is vinyl. Mine's plastic. Really? And the same thing because yeah, and the Italian is it Italian or is it Ravel of Germany? No. Eschie. The original. Oh, the old original yeah. Eschie, German figure, the one standing with the rifle. Yep. It's plastic. Yes. Wow. I, I never got that one. Because you get the figure with the, the Zelephant, they use the, the, they call it the, the Elephant Rider. Yeah, the Elephant Rider, yeah. Because that has a figure in it too, but it's a, a motorcycle figure. Right. And then you got, like I said, the 75 with the sidecar. And I got the Kublai. Did, did they have the guy? In, I don't remember if it had a guy in the uh, sidecar or not. I remember no. it had the driver. No, it's just, all, just a driver, yeah. and yeah. he's not an Africa Corps figure. Yeah. Yeah. Even though the, the front of the box shows yeah. the Africa Corps. Right. Africa Corps well, this guy, box, this guy announced, the guy in the sculpting the figures announced he's from Pennsylvania. Yeah. He did this one first, <clears throat> and depending on how well it does on the market, his next one's going to be the American Rider for oh, the, for the, BM, oh. for the um, Harley, for Harley. The Harley yeah. which is uh, another bike that they did, which was the very nice. Uh, that one had, that bike had some fit issues, the, the Harley did. But once you conquered those, the rest of the kit went pretty yeah. well. Uh, and he's going to do a figure for them. And then the, his third set is a set, a pair of riders for the <coughs> BMW or the Zondop in Africa Corps uniforms. Oh. That's his intent. And again, all of them are all going to be uh, uh, priced in the, you know, you can get it as low. I've seen it priced for as low as twenty four ninety five for the figure. Um, there's a couple of problems with that. I didn't, like, I didn't really like the facial carving very much. And because of that, the eyes are actually out of scale because I've painted those eyes several times and I, I'm still not satisfied with the results. Eyes the, are tough. The, color, the, the, colored, the colored portions, which are raised, yeah. and then the pupils, oh. they're too large for the eyes. They should have been made smaller. They're used by decals. Combat drugs. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only thing I've, I've, I've thought yeah. about sanding the eyes out, you know, the, yeah. the surface of the eyes out and then hand painting the eyes on in place. It's, but it's well, a lot of guys, are, lot of guys are using decals. The eyes are all thylate because it's a knife. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> the the rider is actually uniformed in Eighth Army Dispatch Rider, nineteen forty three, out of Italy. Hence the color of the bike and the and the terrain. And yes, he's wearing a green beret. And for those who know, they say, "Wow, well, only commandos wore green berets in the British Army." Not exactly. And in fact, they did. That's true, but it's a different green. It's more of an OD green compared yeah. to the dispatch riders. That and dispatch riders, depending on what branch they did, because you had dispatch riders that wore the red berets. Which were all airborne. Yeah, Paris. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's real confusing though. His uniform. He's wearing shorts and he's got a scarf. That that uh, that's a uh, that's that's unusual. You gotta have that slap it's in. It's cold night. in the desert at night. Well, it's not in the desert. This is Italy. Well, Still, it's cold. I think if his legs get too warm from being so close to the engine, <laughs> the engine. that's why he got the shorts and then the wind blowing on him. Yeah, it gets or, cold. or he had long pants and they got burnt off by or the Or like you said, he's on drugs. You know. yeah. Was it uh, was it Jean Reno in uh, Flyboys? You know, yeah. he's briefing the Americans, oh, you, you can attract the ladies with it. Oh, yeah. That's why. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Who was it, Claire Bow? Had the whole thing with the scarf, and she threw it over and 